Welcome to Mortgage Minutes, where we demystify this loan process for you. I'm your host, Austin Baker, along with my co-host, John Kimmer. What's up? Woo! All right, brother. What are we talking about today? So today we're shooting a video for most of our referral partners and real estate agents. Every once in a while, you might have a family member reach out to you, you know, say a set of parents and like, we want to sell our house to our kids, but we just want to sell it enough to pay off our existing mortgage. And they don't know exactly how to go about that. And in the real estate, I mean, in the mortgage industry, we have this really cool tool called Gift of Equity. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of built exactly for that situation. So Austin, what, what typically happens when that happens, when a family member wants to sell a house? Yeah, so with the Gift of Equity, there are certain parameters that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac will let us use for who qualifies for doing that. That's not what this video is about. This video is just how does it work when you have an eligible situation. So um, the way that it works is, let's say that we've got a house, $300,000 is what it's worth approximately. Uh, mom and dad have an outstanding mortgage of 200,000 and they're just trying, they're not trying to make the money like you said, they're yeah. just trying to get that debt out from under them. Yeah. And so what a lot of people mistakenly do is they set the sales price at 200. Yeah, because they just want to pay off the mortgage. They don't want to make a profit on their kids, right. but they want to get paid off. So they kind of run into this, uh-oh, yep. situation. So what happens if they sell it to them for 200 Exactly. So if they sell for 200 then you know the kids, whoever the family member is buying that house, has to bring money to closing. Has to bring a down payment now. Yeah, because down payment, closing costs. Exactly. Yeah. So it's not really a good way to give a family member your house. Right. Of course, they're getting all that equity, um, but they're also having to come out of pocket for stuff that they don't necessarily need to come out of pocket for. And we're going to show you how. So if they sold it for 200,000, 5% down payment on that's 10 grand. Yep. And, and so you got 10 grand plus your closing costs, plus your escrows. So you're bringing a decent chunk of money to buy mom and dad's house. Alternatively, you could sell it for 210. Mm -hmm. So you could sell it for that. And then you're gifting that down payment that ten thousand dollars to them so that what's ha what's having to happen is we're having to pay this off right so the transaction has to be big enough to pay off the outstanding debt yeah. and so what you want to do is you want to set up your mortgage on the new transaction to be at or greater than the amount that mom and dad still owe on the house and so you can set it at 210 and then gift ten thousand dollars that's going to be your minimum down payment in that situation, you're still having to pay closing costs, but at least you're not having to bring your 5% down. So what do we recommend is even better than just getting that minimum? Yeah, I mean, just gift all the equity. Hence why the program's called a gift of equity. So if, you know, if you're a real estate agent, you run comps, you think the home is worth 300,000, then just put a contract together for the parents to sell the house to the kids for 300,000. Bingo. And then a good lender will do the gift of equity. Yep, we set it up. All right, now we're selling the house for 300. The loan needs to be 200 to pay off the existing one. And so $100,000 is being gifted as the down payment and that can cover the closing costs and we're golden. And the reason you want to do that is because the more equity you have in a house mo on most loan programs, that's going to result pricing. in better pricing. So when you're doing a gift of equity situation, you actually want the sales price to be as high as possible. Yeah. And, the, and again, the selling party is not, you know, having to come out the equity. I mean, it's getting done at title. It's all on paper. It's not physically coming out of their pocket. So right. it's a perfect solution for this type of situation, which doesn't happen a whole lot. But we know y'all are on the front lines. And every once in a while, you run into a situation where a family member wants to sell a house to another family member. And so we just want to plant this seed uh, about a gift of equity and how that works. Bingo. So that's it. All right. In a nutshell, let us know if you have any questions. We'll see you guys around. Woo! Adios.